Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing a twin telepathy three colour custom painting shoes challenge. We've had a lot of requests to do this video and we're really excited to do this video because we have tie dyed shoes before but we've never painted them so this is going to be really fun. Before we get started, we want to make sure all of you are doing well. Obviously, some people are going back to school now, so make sure you are still following social distancing. I know it might be hard if your friends are around you, but you've got to keep following it so we can all go back to normal at some point. And also, thank you so much to everyone who is sharing their DIYs and fun things on their Instagram. Because it's really nice to see all of your DIYs, especially ones that we've inspired you to do. Also, thank you for all the lovely comments too. Okay, so let's get started. If you haven't seen one of these challenges before, how it works is we'll have five different rounds and for each round our mum will give us a range of different pens and these are like paint pens that we're going to use to paint on our shoes and we've got to try and pick the same one as the other person without knowing definitely what they picked. If we get the same one we get a point, if we don't we get no points. Okay so we've got our board up now and we can't see each other at all, all we're picking so we're going to go on to round one now. Let's close our eyes. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh, Shoes. Okay. Whoa. Wait, that's so nice. <gasps> oh gosh, that's so similar. So these are from H and M, and these are from Blowfish. Blowfish. Right. I'm kind of torn a bit in this. They're so different, but I love them both. Like I really mm. like how these one, the Blowfish ones, like so. How do I explain? Like not ratchet, but you know, kind of um. There's bits off the side and it's like quite like ca ca khaki colours. <laughs> khaki! It's quite khaki colours. Oh! <laughs> Army print. But tones. this one's like very posh, you know, kind of. Like it's really like, I don't know, it's gold. I like these, they look very hard wearing and um, they're more complex in the design than these ones. I actually think these might be easier to paint on. Right, I think, I can't really say why because it will give it away, but I think Ruby's very likely to pick these ones over these ones for a lot of reasons. Let's see if I can name one that doesn't give it away. I feel like she'll find them easier to paint on. I don't actually think that gives it away. I don't even know what I'm doing yet, so this is a really hard decision. I feel like... Yeah, me neither. These ones would be easier to paint on. I think that's what we meant because these ones have... But she might mean that because that could be easier, but I don't really know. My first option, I do like these a lot. I think I'm going to go with these ones because I do have a good idea with them. Okay, so I'm going to go with these ones. And I'm going to go with these ones. On to the next round. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. So, we have a pink. This is actually a very pretty pink. A gold and a grey. So I think straight away both of us would not go for this one because of many reasons. Um, and number two, I feel like between these both, it depends what we're doing on it to be honest because we're going to choose in a minute. It's really hard. I think we both go for this one, so I'm going to go for this one. Okay, I don't know what you were talking about then on any of the points. Um, Neither of us actually know what we're going to do yet. I guess we both have like bits of ideas in our heads, but they'll probably change completely. So unless you've got a really good idea of what you're going to do, I feel like this can go anyway. I'm going to eliminate this one first. I feel like we're both least likely to pick that. Which one do I want? <laughs> I'm going to go with this one. So I'm picking this one and I'm picking this one. On to colour two. Three, two, one. It's like Halloween. Yeah. Okay, so we have a pastel purple, a pastel green, and a pastel blue. And these are all great colours, so it's going to be really hard. Okay, I really love this colour a lot from straight off. I actually quite like purple now. It's funny because I didn't like that a while ago. And I actually like green as well. So I don't think Ruby will pick this one. Now we have two. It might depend on what she's already picked. Um, I'm more likely to pick this one. I'm going to eliminate this one because I know Ray likes the colour. But I feel like we're not going to pick it. I just have that sister brain. So 
so I think she's picked this this one. And I don't think she would pick this with it. I feel like she'd pick something that like kind of has a connection. Yeah, so I would pick this one. Okay, both of these have a connection with this colour, so it sounds like I'm doing well. So I'm picking this one, and I'm picking this one. Okay, we're going to shut our eyes for round three now, and this is our final colour. Three, two, one. Ooh, these are all like very similar colours. Yeah, they are. If you put them in um, a certain order, they're like a gradient. So we have a kind of cream colour, a yellow, and the orange. Okay, so... This kind of, in a way, relies on what you have because you obviously don't want to pick a bad yeah. colour that goes with it. But I'm also going to think about that too. So I think straight away, with all of these colours, one we both would m most likely not pick, even though all of these colours are really pretty, is this one. So I'm going to eliminate this one, so it makes it a bit easier for me. These two, these are like are really similar, and they probably make the same sort of difference into a shoe. But I hope you're thinking about me with the one I'm picking. I know this colour is like... <laughs> and I know this colour is like because of this one being um I'm gonna pick this one. <laughs> so I'm going for this one. I'm going for this one. Now on to the next round. This is the last round before we start. Three, two, one. Ooh, cards. We have one more than usual. So we have graffiti slash abstract, illustration slash graphic. We have pattern slash geometrical, and we have artistic slash scented. Seen it. Seen it. Okay, so neither of us know exactly what we're gonna do yet. We have ideas. So we're gonna do some research on that in a minute, but we do have to pick a category first. Like the sort of thing we want to do. Yeah. I think immediately I'm gonna, I don't really wanna do this sort of thing today because I always do it. So I think I'm gonna eliminate these two things because I really don't feel like doing like, I can't say it, you know what I mean? And also this one's kind of similar. It's kind of like making thing. <laughs> okay, I really hope you're talking about these two. Between these two, I feel like a really good idea. I have something already. So I think I'm gonna eliminate this one and pick this one. And I think the radio will pick this because of the style and we always end up going for these sort of things. I really don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so I eliminated two in the beginning and I have these two left. Right, I think. The safest one for me to go with would be this one. For a lot of reasons. I remember you saying something like it's something that we don't usually pick. And I know I don't think you've ever picked this. So I've picked this one. I feel like I might not be right, but I'm really confused now, so I think I'm gonna stick so. with my answer. And I'm picking this one. Okay, so we've got our colours and our uh, category. And our shoes. So now we're going to do some research and decide what we're going to actually do on our shoes. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to search out what's on my card and see what comes up. I've got some ideas of what I want to do. Same. This is probably the one that shows it best. And this is what I am going to... There's two pictures, by the way. These are what I'm gonna improvise with. This one, and this one. Okay, so we've got all of our supplies now. We have our shoes, we have all of our pens that we picked, and our mum also gave us a black and a white Posca pen as well. And this is for detailing, just in case we need it. It's not one of our main colors. We also got given a pencil, you can just draw anything out, some paint brushes and some tape, and a rubber. I didn't, oh. Okay, so we're gonna get started now, and I think I'm gonna start with maybe this one. And I'm going to start with this one. because I've been taping. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I hope you got off to a good start. Thank you. Mum just gave me some electrical tape because it's way better than the normal tape because it sticks onto the rubber, so you should probably use that if you want to get it. You don't want to get it on the sides. Thank you. So I'm using the pens, but I'm getting the ink out like that, and then I'm using the paintbrush 
to do it. Like for the block parts on mine, it's the pens are brilliant, but I've got some details that I'm better with paint. Ooh, nice. So I just finished the first colour on my first shoe and I just realised actually the other shoe is the same colour. So now I'm just doing the other shoe. And this is actually, I've got to make it so precise so I don't get it on, a, on the actual shoe because I've got to do other colours. So it's really hard but I'm trying my best. So now I'm moving on to the second colour and I've got a really good idea for this bit. But I need to take the laces out to do it, else I'm just going to get it on them. Actually, that's a good idea. I should take my laces out. I gave my sister an idea. <laughs> For once. <laughs> now I'm going to go on to the next half and on to the second source of colours. So the next half. How's yours going? It's actually going really good. It's very colourful. <laughs> so I just finished the block colour on my first shoe and I started my second shoe. I'm really excited to see yours. I'm happy with mine so far. So I've done a lot on one shoe and I kind of need to start doing it on the other. But right now it's getting kind of late, we've been painting for over an hour, almost two hours actually. So we're going to go and have our tea and then we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day now and we're going to carry on with our shoes. Okay, so I need to finish doing the block colour on my second shoe and then I have some detailing I need to do on both shoes. I also need to finish some of the block colour and the base colour on my second shoe and then I've got to do all of the details because my design is like... You kind of have to keep going and building it up. Yours sounds really complicated. Mine is quite easy to do, <laughs> but it takes quite a while. Okay, so now we're gonna carry on with the painting. So I finished the block colors on each of my shoes and I'm gonna paint out some detailed areas on my shoelace. I've done my block colours now and all I've got to do now is draw out my finished details and then go over them in pen. Draw them, that gives yeah. a clue. Okay, so I've drawn out all of the designs on my shoes and now I've got to colour them in, in the colours. And I've also got to use the black and the white pen to kind of finish it off. So I'm going to outline and I'm also going to use the white to make it look a bit watercolory. Mine's quite colourful and neon and quite basic, but now I've got to do the finishing touches with the Posca pens on the front of my shoe and I'm really excited for this because it's going to make it all come together. And I'm also going to be using the white pops of pen but not the black one. So now we're going to finish our shoes and we'll be back to you for the final reveal. Because I'm actually almost finished now, I think. Nice, I'm almost done, but it's looking good. Okay, so we have both finally finished and it took ages to do, but I'm really excited to show you and to see what you've Same. done. But really did take quite a lot longer than me. Yeah, I my design needs building a lot and I kind of changed bits a lot at the end. And we've put box lids on the top of our shoes so we can't see each other's when we take off the barrier. Now we're going to show each other and take down the barrier. Ooh, ready? Box, paper, scissors. Yes! No! Wait, should I show you mine or should I get you to show me? I'll show you mine. Are your eyes shut? Yeah. Three, two, one. 
two, one. <gasps> That's so good. Thank you. How did you do that? Oh my. It took so long because I kept changing my mind, like especially on, where's <gasps> it gone? Especially Whoa. on these ones. There's a bunch of different one. patterns. Oh my gosh. That's so, so cute. How did you do that? That one. I kept, I changed my mind so much on that design. That design happened by accident. I can tell you now we did very well on this challenge. We did. I can say now mine are quite like bright. There's obviously so much work gone into yours. Like you spent so much time on it and the details are so cool. Like every little bit about each like pattern is so cool. Yeah, the patterns I cha I honestly changed my mind so many times on what they I wanted them to look like. I redid them so many times. Now I know why it took you so long. Yeah. I'm gonna show all of you now and I'm gonna try and be quick because there are loads of little bits on mine. This is the left shoe and they're a lot like this. I got graffiti, so mine is oh, most yes. different designs. And I did a lot of block colors and then I watered them down with white paint. Like here I've got a triangle, there's an eye there, which I thought was cool. So this design probably took maybe the longest actually because I kept changing it so much. It was lines at the beginning, then I went over it in white and it got lighter and I did the lines and changed the colors. And then I put white circles over it until this design happened and it's like honeycomb. There's a sun there, there are lines and there's also a really scary smiley face. <laughs> On the other shoe, we have these flowers. I feel like this might be my favorite side out of both shoes. I really like this side. Yeah. Or that one because of the space thing. Yeah. Whatever. Both back just have a block color, but it's watercolor kind of. And another thing I did with the watercolor is when I put the white pen on, I kind of avoided the edges. So it looks like it's worn in a bit more. Like when you have jeans and it's darker on the folds. And then I have little palm tree leaves and there's a plant there. So I'm proud of mine and it took a few hours, but I'm very happy with how they look. They're really good, I love them. They're definitely Here. something I would put to. Okay, mine now. Close your eyes. Three, two, one. <gasps> Wait, oh my goodness, we got really similar colors and we did it so, are they bubbles? I don't know, they're kind of planets. And like big beach ones. balls. Yeah, there's like surprise ones down there. Surprise ones. Wait, that's so cool. Yeah. That's actually so cool. They're and you use the lines. Yeah, they're yeah. definitely much neon, but these did take quite a while, but they had more block colours, so they didn't take as long as yours. They're very cool. And this is what the colours look like without being watered down, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, and they're both the same, but also different. Wait, that's so cool. <gasps> so they're odd. No, but they're so individual because of that. That's yeah, so cool. I made sure that they all had different things on them. Okay, I think you should show everyone else. Okay, so now I'm going to show you all, and I'm really excited. Okay, three, two, one. So these are my shoes and they're really cute. So I got the colors green, yellow, and pink. And I use block colors, so I put loads of different colors and each of them are kind of opposite colors on them. So this is the right shoe and on this one I put yellow block colors, green, and pink. And I did yellow things around the laces. And on the other side I did green, pink, yellow, and just green on the back. And then on the front I kind of did swiggly lines with each color and they kind of join up at the side. And then I did sort of planets and bubbles and there are sneaky ones in the middle of it. Secret bubbles? Yeah, secret bubbles. And this is my personal favorite shoe because of the colors, I don't really know why. But this is what it looks like. So I just did the same as the other shoe, just with different colors. And the reason I did opposite ones, so I think it's just kind of a good trend now. I feel like everyone does opposite sort of stuff on the shoes they wear. Okay, so these are our final three color paint custom shoes. Okay, so that's the end of our video. We really hope you like our shoes. Make sure to head over to the community page and comment which one's your favorite. Rubies or Rayleigh's. <laughs> we have two shout outs for this video. The first shout out goes to Navia Abbas Ali. Thank you so much for subscribing to us, hashtagging us as squad and for always commenting on our videos. Second shout out goes to Marie Antoinette. Thank you so much for hashtagging us as squad and for commenting a lot on the community page. We can't end this video without thanking her. Notifications squad and early squad, we love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're staying safe. We love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, we've got our board up now so we can't see each other's each other.
So, sorry. Kaki, is that what it's called? Kaki? What? Kiki, kaki, kooky. What? <laughs> Knicky. Kooky. <laughs> what is it? Porky. <laughs> But that's definitely not satin because one side's blue and one side's yellow. <laughs> I'm gonna show all of you now. And I'm gonna do... That was not English. And then with the other two, I'd. <laughs> Make sure to head over to the community page and comment which one is your favourite, Rayleigh's or Ruby's. That sounds wrong. 